Microsoft Forms. So what is it? We can see that it's used for collecting data and make better decision. So what does it mean? Recently, I was speaking to my school, my, my son's school, and uh, I was just telling them that we should avoid sending PDF to people, asking them to print the paper and return it with a little tick box of which menu to, to choose, for instance. So we moved to an online form because within minutes we can just do that. So in Microsoft Forms, I do the same, I do new form and then uh, I give it the title. So I'm going to say Wix menu choice, give a description. And then here we don't want to have text because if you give a text to people, then they can just type whatever. They would just say like, I prefer bolognese, I prefer pasta every day. Instead, you give them a choice. So here we're going to say Monday, we have choice between pasta or rice. Only two choice, right? Then you carry on and we do Tuesday, etc. So now we have lots of other options that we can do. I like this thing. So for instance, you can say rate your cook to or this week and you would give it a value between one and five. Is it a star? Is it a number? Uh, one thing we might do is to have a little label. So we would say like really bad, great chef. Don't really want to do that, but it may happen. Let's make it mandatory, required. And it's telling me that I can even do branching. So we'll talk about branching as well. So let's go to, uh, to test it. We can see here, it's going to show me a, but if I click on it, it will go into edit. So that's not how we test it. We just test it by preview. So here I'm going to say Monday, pasta, rice, and then I'm going to say, yes, this week was amazing. Submit data is already in the system because you can see here we have response number one and it's going to give me the average if I have if I send it to 200 pupils it will give me exactly what's the average what's the max the majority of uh, voters have done so that's quite um, a really neat tool and it's only a short preview of it I just want to finish by showing one that I could have used is called a uh, Likert because within this I would say weak choice and I can have a kind of a you see where I'm going is that here I am going to say Tuesday and look even pre suggest uh, it's a bit difficult to find it but because it's not alphabetical and Friday and here I'm gonna say the pasta let's say if they have pasta every day right that would be terrible and then another state statement, it would be a vegetable. So, preview. Now my user can just say, yep, yeah, Monday I want pasta, Tuesday I want rice, Wednesday I want this. And of course I made it the wrong way because I should be able to, I should have actually put Thursday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday on vertical here and horizontal, I would have put rice, pasta, etc. But anyway, this is all about having online forms. So we need to have a bit of thinking of what I want to ask the person and how I can actually block them from not going off road and uh, just type whatever they have in their, in their mind.